I'm going to show you how to create your Onshape account using your MPS email address. So I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to type in Onshape. You're going to see it pops up right away. Uh, once it loads, I'm going to go to the uh, sign in button here. And I'm going to select now uh, sign up for an account. So I write down here, I have don't have an account, sign up. We're going to make sure that we go to the educational account here. So I'm going to request my educational account, and we're going to uh, select on four students. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fill out this information here. Now I'm going to type in the first name. And then you're going to enter your uh, MPS email address. And what we have to remember is our email address changed this year. So instead of the at Milwaukee, it's mymps.org. So it's not the at Milwaukee.k12wi. So it's at, at mymps.org. I'm a student. We're in the K12 setting, and I'm going to check that box right there. It's going to take me to the next page, and it's going to ask for my school name. So I'm at Fairview School. It's going to ask for the school website. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up to a browser, type in Fairview School, and go to our school's website. You're going to copy that right there and paste it in. Uh, we're in the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we're going to select the United States. Uh, your graduation year is going to depend on your high school graduation year. I'm going to select 2015. What are we using it for? We're using it for PLTW. You're going to verify your three blocks here, boxes here and check that you are not a robot. And then you're going to click on creating account. And what it's going to ask you to do now is to go check your MPS email. The way we're going to do that to activate this account is we're going to go to another browser. And instead of going to our normal student email, we are going to go to our Gmail account. So we're going to type in Gmail. Uh, we're going to sign in. For privacy reasons, I'm going to pause this page so I can sign into that Gmail account. Now that we're back, uh, just a reminder, when we go to the Gmail account, you need to sign in with your full S number at uh, mymps.org and then putting in your password. You're going to see your Onshape account is ready. You're going to click on the uh, activate your account in that email. And it's going to bring you to the Onshape page. Now, my suggestion for a password is going to be capital T E S T one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Again, it's an easy password to remember. Capital T E S T one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can choose your own password, but remember, you have to remember what you placed. I cannot, as the teacher, recover your password. You're going to have to go through that process. So please use uh, the password I suggested. We're going to say, get started. Oh, they're actually changing it this year. So I'm going to do a uh, test. Uh, one, two, three, six, five, four, we'll try. They want stronger passwords, T-E-S-T -E with a capital T. One, two, three, six, five, four. And again, I'm going to pause here as they're requesting for a better password. Okay, so what I did is I changed the password to uh, your login for your MPS, which is those uh, the birth date with the backslashes with the word test with a capital T behind it. And I'm going to say get started. And it says we have created your new account. You're going to say inches. Um, we're going to have it with our decimal places, so we're going to choose the default. Again, we're going to choose the default here. You can have an opportunity to change your name, add a profile picture there, and then it's going to do a browser check. Everything's good. And what you're going to notice here is that we come up to this right-hand corner. You can always change these. Uh,